So today we're going to do one of the things that I enjoy doing the most, and that is going over a single family service calculation. Now, this is only going to cover general lighting. So we're going to find how, how we basically can find line nine. What does that mean? I'm going to explain that to you in the video. If you stay till the end, I can explain more of what you're going to see in the future and how we find a service calculation total amperage. You want to be able to size a service. If you know how to size a service, this is definitely a video you want to start to see. What do we need to size general lighting? Okay, simple. There's three things you have to remember. You have to know that in order to size general lighting, you have the square footage of the dwelling you're going to be working on. You need to know how many small appliance brand circuits you're going to need. And you need to know about how many laundry circuits you're going to install. This is kind of where we're going to breeze through a little bit of this stuff, but I'm going to give you a little brief run in on how we figure out this stuff. Okay? So if we go into a home or a dwelling and we want to size it, okay? Let's say, for instance, we know we have a 2,000 square foot house, right? Basic 2,000 square foot house. Where do we start? Do we put a 100 amp service in? Do we put a 200 amp service in? A 400 amp service? What are we putting in? Well, we've got to find out a lot of the information. So, knowing the square footage, we are talking about habitable square footage. So, what does that mean, habitable square footage? Habitable square footage is anything that can be lived in. Living rooms, dining rooms, kitchens, bathrooms, you know, bedrooms, bonus rooms, anywhere where it's finished. Now, one of the questions I always get is, what if I have a finished basement? Well, here's the thing. If you're building the house and you know you're finishing the basement, then yes, you count it. If you're not finishing the basement or they're not finishing the basement, it's going to be a, a basic storage area. Don't do anything. Don't count it. You have a garage. If you have a garage with a room up top, if you're not planning on living or using that as a livable space, it's not counted. So remember that it's habitable. A porch is not a livable space. A three season porch now on the other hand is. So you have to kind of go through and figure out what is habitable, what is not. Okay, you don't just want to take overall dimensions and say this is what it is, you know, and, and go from there. It, it, it doesn't work that way. We are only sizing the square footage of a dwelling that is habitable. What's the next step? We need to know how many small appliance circuits we need. So this is what I'm going to tell you. If you follow article uh, 21011 C1, that's going to tell you that you're going to be required to install two small appliance branch circuits in a dwelling. That is per code. So per code is what we have to do. If we're wiring a house per code or on spec, we have to wire two small appliance circuits to the kitchen. Then we go into 220.52A and it's going to tell us that we have 1500 watt, uh, VA per small appliance brand circuit. I'll explain that to you when we start putting the example on the board. Let's look at laundry. Laundry, again, we go back to 220.11C2 and that's going to tell us that we have to install at least one laundry circuit, okay? One laundry circuit. That means nothing can be on that laundry circuit but anything that pertains to the laundry room or laundry area, okay? So you can't put, put the outlet on the outside of a hallway and tap it off of the laundry circuit. It's only for laundry purposes only. Then we jump over back to 220.52B and that's going to tell us that we have to take our laundry circuit at 1500 VA. I'm giving you this little bit of information because I want you guys to start to remember this. So what we'll do, let's put a basic dwelling up on the board with the information that we need. So, so for this example, what we're going to do is we're going to take a basic two code dwelling and we are going to 
size the general lighting. So our dwelling is 2,000 square feet. We have two small appliance circuits, and we have one laundry circuit. This is all you need to size the general lighting load. Everything else will come in other videos as we break it down. Okay, so keep a lookout for those new videos. Uh, so if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. What I did is I said, okay, I have to take the square footage. Now, to find the square footage, I have to break the square footage down into a VA or a wattage. VA stands for volt amps. Volt amps is the same as watts. So what we're looking for is we're looking for VA. How do we find VA? Come over to the code book and we look at article 22012, general lighting loads for occupancy. And it gives us a whole list of different occupancies. Okay, what we're looking at is we're looking at volt amps per square meter and volt amps per square foot. We're gonna focus on the per square foot. So we're gonna go down and we're gonna find dwelling and the dwelling unit, we follow all the way over, we're gonna multiply our square footage by three. Three VA is the, uh, the number that we use for a dwelling unit. We're gonna take the 2,000 square feet and we're gonna multiply it by three VA. Appliance circuits now, when we go into article 22052A, uh, that's going to basically tell us that we have to take 1,500 uh, VA per branch circuit. So I'm going to give you guys a little, little hint. You know, according to 21011C1, that you need to have a minimum of two branch circuits, right? So let's do it this way. I'm going to take those two branch circuits. I'm going to take them 1,500 apiece. That's 3,000. So if you have a minimum of two, which is re regardless, I mean, you, you have to have two. You can have three, you can have four, you can have five, you can have as many as you want. Just remember that every one after that, you've got to add 1500 VA. So we have to start with something. So our small appliance circuit, if we're only doing two small appliance circuits, we have to multiply it by two, which gives us a 3000 VA. So we know that our VA for a small appliance is 3,000. Same thing with our laundry circuit. Our laundry circuit is taken at 1,500 VA. So all we're going to do is we're going to add 1,500 in. Now, I'm going to show you what I like to use. I like to use uh, what's called the line method. And I actually found this out of a book many years ago when I started teaching this. And I basically broke it down into certain lines and it, it kind of gives information so that you know what's what. And basically, so this is my line method. So what I'm going to do is we're, I'm going to break it down by line. We're going to start with line one, work ourselves all the way to line nine. So line, what we have to do is we have to take, we're going to go line one through nine, and that's going to find our total general lighting load. So stay with me. First things first, line one. 2,000 square feet, multiply it by 3 VA, it's going to give us 6,000 VA. Six thousand goes in line one. Now, line two is our small appliance line. We're doing it to code, we know we have two, so we're going to put 3,000 VA in line two. Line three is going to be our laundry circuit. So we have one laundry circuit. What are we going to do? Yep, we're going to put 1,500 in. Line four is simple. Line four is the total. So we're going to add this all up. We're going to take six, 3,000 and 1,500, and that is going to give us 10,500 VA. Are we done? Nope. We have to go back and we have to look at the code. Table 22042, lighting demand loads. We're looking at a dwelling, dwelling units. First 3,000 or less, 
at 100, we take it 100%. 3,001 to 120,000, we take it 35%. The remainder after the 120,000, we take it 25%. By that. I'm going to tell you right now that the first thing we have to do is we have to minus 3,000 from our total number. Because again, according to 22042, we have to take the first 3,000 and take it at 100%. So here, I'm going to minus 3,000. I'm going to minus 3,000 from line 4. And that is going to give me... Seventy five hundred VA. I hope you're following along. Once we get that seventy five hundred VA, the code also tells us that what we have to do now, I'm going to give you something a little bit different to the code book, and this is going to be a little bit of a better understanding, even though the code book is correct. How it's explained is not very well, because remember, the code book is all interpretation. The code book states that the first 3,000 out of 120,000, we take at 100%. What it doesn't state is, we only have 117,000 left. So what do we do? What if we had 120,000? Well, I'm going to tell you this. If I had 120,000 after I took out my 3,000, which means I would have started with 123,000, I'm going to take my 3,000 out as 100. I'm only going to go to 117,000, and I'm going to multiply that by 35%. My 3,000 remainder would be multiplied by 25%, and then I would have to add those three numbers together to get my general lighting look. So, little side note, keep it in, keep it in mind. I'll actually write this in the description so that you can read it. So, what do we have? We're taking 3,000 from 10,500 because that's going to be our first 3,000 at 100%. That's going to leave us with 7,500. Now, I skip line 6 and 7 for a reason. Because we don't have that larger number, we don't have to break it down further. So we're going to go right to line 8. So what is line 8? Line 8 is multiply that remainder by 35%. So this here, we're going to multiply by 35%. So write that for line 8. So what do we do? We take 7,500, we multiply it by 0 0.35, and we get 26.25 VA. Are we done yet? No. Because now we have to fill in line 9. Line 9, what we're going to do is we're going to add 3,000 back into it. So now I'm going to take that 2625, I'm going to add 3,000 back into it, and it's going to give me 5625, and that is in line 9. Line 9 is my general lighting load. So, <laughs> I hope you guys have fun. Is there a lot of math in this? Absolutely. Is it basic math? Absolutely. Do we have to know where to find this information in the code? Yes, we do. See, the more you understand the code, the more you know where to find it, that makes it easier. So again, like I keep stressing, with videos like this, Please have your code book out with you. Check it out, highlight your stuff. If you've already taken my class, you already have this highlighted in your code book. If you haven't taken my class and you live in another state, please follow through because I have a pretty good record of students passing their electrical exams. If we, if we really work together, we're gonna to be able to complete this entire service calculation. Here's my little side note bonus today. What I'm going to do is I'm going to break down all the different lines that we get to finish a service calculation. So we're going to do videos and I'm going to try and break it out, you know, in between here and there. So 
you know, eventually what I'll do is I'll put a playlist together for you guys to kind of watch and, and, and do the whole thing together. But we're going to break them down doing the fixed appliances. We're going to break it down and we're going to go over how to size a dryer. We're going to go over how to size a range. We're going to go over and we're going to understand the difference between AC and, and heat and why we take the two. We're going to discuss the codes on that. We're going to discuss largest motor. So we're going to be referring back and forth to a couple videos. This way here, if you're subscribed to this channel, you'll be able to go back and find those videos and you'll be able to see how to do this. Then we're going to get to the end. And basically what we'll do is we'll go over everything that we have done in these past videos and we will actually do a complete service calculation. Now, a service calculation, is it fun? I think they are. Is it a lot of code to know? Yes, it is. But just remember, the more code you have, the more you know where to find these codes, guess what? You are going to be a better electrician by knowing how to use the code book. Here's the key. Do me a favor. If this video helped you, please like it. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe to my channel. I want to let you know that if you ring the little bell, that's going to tell you, hey, I've got a new video out. Could be a service calculation, could be a hands-on video, could be something on motors, whatever you want to see. At the same time, you subscribe, I keep working, I keep going. You keep learning. That's my only goal. Have a great day and be safe.